frustrated in this place I leave. I am tired of failures around me, but I know there is a place for me in God, my wealthy place. Help me sing. to another glorious Sunday service here at Victory House London. My name is Buki Olato Ingo. And I'm Pastor Wale Olato Ingo. We are excited to be with you this morning and we want to say thank you for letting us into your homes. We pray that as you fellowship with us today, that every petition, every desires, every prayer that you will have today, that the Lord God Almighty will meet it speedily, hastily, and quickly in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that He will shine the countenance of His light upon you, Amen. and His grace will abound unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Luke 8 39 says, Return to your home and declare how much God has done for you. We pray that during this month of testimony, that testimonies will abound unto us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We will all at the end of this month return to testify of the goodness Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And none of us will lose the testimony of eternal life that God gave us through His Son, Amen. our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, we bless your holy name. Amen. We magnify you. Amen. We give you all the glory. Amen. We give you all the honor. Amen. We thank you for a new day. You, it is the day that you have made. Yes, yes. It is marvelous in our eyes, O oh God. Yes. We thank you for the miracle of sleeping. Thank you, we thank you for the miracle of waking up. Yes, yes. Father, we bless your holy Hallelujah. name. Lord, we return the glory. Amen. We return the honor Amen. and the adoration Amen. unto you. Amen. Spirit of the living God, we welcome you. Yes, Omnipotent God, we bless and acknowledge your presence at this hour. Yes, Ancient of days, we lift up your holy name yes, and we bow in awe of you. Yes, Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. that you will have your way unhindered Amen. at this service of today Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Psalm 119 verse 11. Psalm 119 verse 11. And I read, Thy word will I heed in my heart that I may not sin against you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, yeah. as your words will come forth this morning, O God, mm -hmm. let it take root in our hearts, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let it keep us away from sinning against you, O Amen. God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. O Lord Almighty Father, let your word as they come forth today, let it heal us, O Amen. God. Let it Deliver us, O God. Amen. Let it liberate and empower us Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My Father and my God, as your Son ministers this morning, O God, Lord, I pray that you will give him the tongue of the pen of a ready writer Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let every word that you speak today, O oh Lord, mm -hmm. let it not fall on a bare ground, O oh God, mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let your word accomplish everything that you have sent it to accomplish, mm -hmm. O oh God, mm -hmm. in the mighty name of mm -hmm. Jesus. Lord, we bless your holy Hallelujah. name. Lord, we magnify you. Mm -hmm. Let there be performances mm -hmm. of all the words that will be spoken today mm -hmm. in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, it is our month of testimony. My Father, my God, I pray 
that you will give us testimonies, Amen. new testimonies in this Amen. month, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Testimony that, 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 that people will be able to see Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Testimony that will lead people to the knowledge Amen. of our Lord Jesus Christ Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we bless you. Oh, yeah. Lord, we magnify yeah. you. Lord, we pray for the peace of the United Kingdom. Yes, Father, we pray in the mighty name of Jesus yeah. and for the peace of all the nations of the world. Yeah. We ask in the name of Jesus that every uncertainty yeah. hovering over our nations, yeah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let them be totally removed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray that your unspoken peace will reign in our midst again Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy, we bless you. Alleluia. Daddy, we exalt your holy name. We magnify you. Amen. We give you all the glory. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. And if you are worshiping with us for the first time today, we would like to know where you are joining from and please give us a wave emoji in the comment section and as you do so the almighty god will bless you in jesus name amen, amen. at this point we would like to welcome the voice of victory who will lead us into the presence of the almighty god with powerful praise and worship session amen. thank you Father, we welcome you into the armies this morning. We appreciate you. We thank you for all you've done in our lives. You will not deserve our worship. You will not deserve our praise. None that can be compared unto you, God. Hey. You alone deserve my worship. You alone deserve my praise. You alone deserve my worship. You alone deserve my praise. King of glory, who compares to you? You are worthy of my offering. Every ounce of worship I will pour at your feet.
You're good. 
to our God. We want to join the four living creatures, the 24 elders. The Bible says, they fall down at the throne of our King and cry, Holy, Holy, Holy. Hallelujah. I can see the glory of the Lord all over and everywhere. I can see the glory of the Lord all over and everywhere. I can see angels all around ascending and descending I can see worship going to the throne and Jesus glorified we cry holy holy the Lord of hosts, holy, holy. We cry, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, holy. Yes, you are holy. Somebody lift your hands and say, I can see. Yes. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord is with you this morning as we worship the Lord. Hallelujah. And everywhere. I can see angels. I can see angels all around. Ascending. And descending. The angels of the Lord are bringing you good. Going around, Hallelujah, and Jesus glorified. We cry, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts. Holy, we cry, Holy. The Lord of 
Praise the Lord. Um, this is Pastor Bola Alike Sanusi, and um, I just want to inform all our ladies of our forthcoming women's conference. It's a virtual conference, but I know that it will be a wonderful conference and you will be blessed in the name of Jesus. The theme for the conference is Emerge. It um, takes place on the 29th of August um, from 12 in the afternoon to 6.30 p.m. in the evening. I promise you that you will have a wonderful, wonderful time in the name of Jesus. We have wonderful speakers that will be introduced to you in the course of the week. Um, it's going to be wonderful. Remember that um, the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, when God said, said to the prophet that before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you and I ordained you a prophet. I know that the Lord is saying to us women that even before we were formed, he had ordained us to be great. So this conference is for you. You will emerge into God's greatness for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So please invite all your sisters, your friends, your mothers, your grandmothers, everybody. This conference is for everyone and you will be blessed. Trust me in the name of Jesus. So on that day, make sure you follow us live on all our social media platforms. See you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Church, good morning, church. This is our month of testimony, and we've come to tell you the testimony we got. And the testimony is we've got the breakthrough. Say it again. The testimony is we've got our breakthrough. I've got my breakthrough by many, many testimony, and I'm here to testify. We are here to testify of the goodness of the Lord in our lives, in our home, that none of us was sick because God has given us the breakthrough. You sing and say. I've got my, I've got my, I've got my, 
not mine. That is my testimony. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough yeah. Not a man in time. I am dancing back to the church. Oh, oh, by your mercy. I've got my breakthrough. Breakthrough. That is my testimony. Sing it with us too. Prophesy it to yourself as your testimony. Break through. Everybody say. Church, over your children, over your husband, break through in the name of Jesus. That is our testimony. That we also be your testimony. Break through every day, every time, every minute, every hour, every second. Break through. It's your testimony in the name of Jesus. Is your testimony breakthrough is mine? Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for our breakthrough. This is our testimony. Bless the name of the Lord. Wow, what a wonderful session by our own voice of victory. I pray that the Lord will continue to increase you, multiply you in the mighty name of Jesus. Here at our CCG Victory House London, August is our month of testimonies. August is our month of testimonies. And the Bible says in the book of Luke 21, 13, Luke 21, 13, I read quickly from the KJV and it reads, It shall turn to you for a testimony. And I pray for that sister, I pray for that brother watching this broadcast, that this month of August, will turn to you for a testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. And peradventure you have a testimony or two that you like to share, please kind of use the email address now being displayed on the screen to share your testimony. And we'll do our best to read out your testimony to encourage one or two people out there. Thank you so, so much. Today we have three testifiers and I'm going to read quickly the first one anonymous i would like to thank god for guiding my son during his journey in the university he has now graduated with flying colors in petroleum engineering i give god all the praise and i pray for that son of yours that the lord himself will make room for him in the marketplace of life in the mighty name of jesus the second testifier one of our sisters, Sister Angel Gloriana, Sister Angel Gloriana, I want to thank God for healing, for healing me supernaturally when I was sick. The doctors were contemplating of carrying out another surgery after the initial one, but I made a vow to God that I wouldn't go through another surgery. And to the glory of God, the Lord healed me with no need for me to go for additional surgery. We give God all the praise for perfecting your health. I pray for you, my sister. The Bible says affliction will not rise again. And I pray that affliction will never rise again in the mighty name of Jesus. And the third testifier, as a frontline worker, I thank God for good health and the strength to go through the lockdown period up until now. At my workplace, majority of my colleagues have been taking days off 
in order not to contract the COVID-19 virus. And the few of us that remain have been working either from home or going to the office. I am one of the very few who the Lord has been keeping going stronger and stronger on a daily basis and have not fallen sick. The Lord has been faithful to my household during the lockdown period. My children have been working through this period to date. My second son passed his exam excellently well and is preparing to go into the third year, which is the last year of his studies. My daughter also launched a hairdressing business during the lockdown. Guess what? Anything can happen during lockdown. So we've got to take advantage of this. And as she also waits, awaits our A-level results. And to the glory of God, my other son is no longer taking medication, is fully well. He has since returned to work after the lockdown and has been functioning marvelously well. He, he also celebrated his 25th birthday last Sunday. What a wonderful God we serve. And I pray for all these testifiers and even the testimonies. I pray that they will remain permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. And peradventure, for someone connected to this broadcast, this service this morning, trusting God for the testimony. I pray that the Lord will surprise you even in this month of August in the mighty name of Jesus. You will testify in the precious name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The hour has come for us to, to listen to the word of God because I strongly believe in my spirit that the Lord has prepared our Father in the Lord, Pastor Lekhe Sanusi, to bring the word that will encourage, that will chastise, and that will save. And I want you to prepare your heart, get your Bible, get your notepad, your iPad, and, 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 and be prepared to receive from the throne of grace. It gives me great privilege and honor to welcome our Father in the Lord, Pastor Lekhe Sanusi, for today's ministration. Sit back, relax, and God bless you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and will be glad in it. I want to thank God for your life. I want to thank God for all that he's been doing, all that he is doing right now, and greater things that he has promised to do for you, for me, our families, loved ones, and indeed our nation. Our God indeed is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the Prince of peace. And we are grateful that in the midst of storms, the Prince of peace continues to show himself faithful, merciful, and gracious to you and to me, and indeed to the whole world. Glory be to God. Welcome once again to this powerful service. And I'm believing God with you that everything will turn around as occasion for your testimonies this month in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking about this special month of August. Without any doubt, we have special, special people. In the month of August, there are bad days. Um, fall into the month of August, and some also had their wedding anniversaries in the month of August. We celebrate you today as we do always, and we thank God for your lives. I want to say a word of prayer uh, for such wonderful people amongst us who had their birthdays in this month of August and who also have their wedding anniversaries this month. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for your special sons and daughters that were born in the eighth month, the month of August, and also those who have their wedding anniversaries in the month of August. Mighty God, we thank you for their lives. Thank you for watching over them. Thank you for protecting them. Thank you for providing for them. Thank you for preserving them. And thank you, O oh God, 
for looking after them. Thank you for giving them the benefit and the blessing of another year, another month, another anniversary. Accept our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, eight is their special month. Eight is the number of new beginning. We pray for all these, your sons and daughters that are under the sound of our voice, that are listening all over the world, that are members of Victory House in London, that you will bless them specially, that you will keep them, that you will watch over them. We pray that you give them brand new beginning, new beginning of joy, new beginning of peace, new beginning of progress, new beginning of enlightenment, new beginning of prosperity. Give them all round new beginning that we bring perfection to every department of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. This is our month of testimony. I'm asking, oh God, that before the month of August is over, give each and every one of your children under the sound of my voice that were born in the month of August, that had their weddings in the month of August, give them special miracles that they will be testifying of all the days of their long lives. Satisfy them, O God, with long lives, healthy lives, fruitful life, fulfilling and flourishing lives in the name of Jesus Christ. If the Lord tarries, they will celebrate many, many, many more years of anniversaries in the the land of the living. Thank you, precious Lord. Glory be to your name in the eyes. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Once again, we rejoice with you and celebrate you, our brothers and sisters of the month of August. May you always have reasons to glorify God in your homes and in your lives. In Jesus' name. It's a new day, and I'm confident that in this new day, new week, God will do brand new things for every one of us in Jesus' name. In 1 Corinthians 15, 57, 1 Corinthians 15, 57, the Bible says, But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you victorious at all? I believe you are. You have the victory over Satan and all his wickedness. So what do we do because of our victory? We say, Thanks be to God who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus jesus christ please say this prayer of thanksgiving after me powerfully say father i give you thanks for the victory that you give me on a daily basis i give you thanks lord for victory over sin over sickness over sorrow over suffering and all the many battles of life lord i give you thanks thanks be to god my father who gives me the victory who gives my brothers and sisters under the sound of my voice the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for victory that we enjoy in the course of the daily battles of life. Thank you for victory over storms. Thank you for victory over siege. Thank you for victory over sickness. Thank you for victory over sin. Thank you for victory over Satan. Thank you, God, for victory over all the works of darkness. To you alone be all that glory, all the praises, and all the honor as we will never never become defeated fools in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you for making us victors champions and for making us to be more than the conquerors through Christ who loves us blessed be the name of our God in Jesus name we pray amen and Holy Spirit as we go into the world for this season we pray oh God Almighty that the word of God will become spirit we become life father i ask that you send your word right now let your word heal us let your word deliver us from every destructive strategies of the wicked in the name of jesus christ let your word enlighten our minds let your word lighten our darkness let your word order our steps oh god in the way that we should go especially in this week and in this season thank you oh god for breakthroughs that we already have glory be to your name in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen glory be to god hallelujah as i continue 
with the series the wonders of thanksgiving we wonders of thanksgiving in this season that we are believing the almighty god to change our dry season and saturate our destinies with joy peace and gladness i'd like to share for a few minutes uh, on that topic looking at a couple of things that we have not seen in the past See, psalm 50 verse 14 and 15 psalm 50 verses 14 and 15 will be our test offer to god thanksgiving and pay your vows to the most high call upon me in the day of trouble and i will deliver you and you shall glorify me hallelujah mm, what a wonderful passage from the psalmist offer to god thanksgiving pay your vows to the most high this is god speaking to the psalmist and indeed speaking to you and to me he says call upon me in the day of trouble i will deliver you and you shall glorify me let me share a few points from this scripture before we pray Number one, the first thing that we want to learn from verse 14. Verse 14 says, offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the most high. The first thing we want to learn from that verse is that thanks is a giving. Thanksgiving. Thanks is a giving. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every time you say thank you to God or to man, you are giving something you are giving something worthy something respectful something honorable you are giving something good every time you engage in the act of thanksgiving hence psalm 92 verse 1 psalm 92 verse 1 says it is good to give thanks to the lord it is good to give thanks to the Lord. And if it is good to give thanks to the Lord, it follows that it is bad not to give thanks to the Lord. It is bad not to give thanks to the Lord. The Bible says that if you know what is good and you refuse to do it, it is a sin. It constitutes a sin. Number two point from psalm uh, from that psalm verse 14 of psalm 50 verse 14 of psalm 50 he says offer to god thanksgiving offer to god thanksgiving hallelujah apart from the fact that thanks is a giving we can also see from that passage that thanksgiving is an offering is an offering that can terminate your suffering thanksgiving is an offering it is a giving and it is good to give it and it's also a thanks a, an offering offer unto god thanksgiving offer unto god thanksgiving hallelujah so if thanksgiving is an offering it's also a seed it is a seed follow me carefully brethren and every seed commands a harvest every seed commands a harvest according to genesis 8 22 genesis 8 22 it says that as long as the earth remained seed time and harvest time we now cease hallelujah therefore when you offer thanks to god you are sowing seeds for the harvest of a greater blessing when you offer thanks to god and indeed to man you are doing what sowing seeds for the harvest of a greater blessing let me hear you say thank you jesus now offer unto god thanksgiving another biblical word for offering for offering that which you offer is sacrifice 
is sacrifice. Sometimes they are used interchangeably. Offering and sacrifice. Sacrifice. No wonder we read in the Bible of sacrifice of thanksgiving. Psalm 107, 22. Psalm 107, 22 it says, Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his what? With what? With rejoicing. In Psalm 116, verse 17, it says, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and we call upon the name of the Lord. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and we call upon the name of the Lord. Now, when you look at that scripture in particular, offering the sacrifices of thanksgiving becomes the key or it becomes the license, the authority and the permission that you have to call upon the name of the Lord. Offer unto God the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. No wonder Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. Especially if we read the message translation, it says, enter into his presence. Enter. Enter. Come to God. Gain access to him. Call him and get a direct answer or a direct entry to him by doing what? By giving thanks with the password. The message translation uses the word password thanksgiving offer unto god your thanksgiving and then call upon the name of the lord thanksgiving is both an offering and a sacrifice thirdly if you want to correctly offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to the lord or even to man you should come with a seed or an offering it is an offering. It is an offering. Thanksgiving to God is accompanied by a seed because it's a giving. Hallelujah. Even the young Isaac in Genesis 22 verse 7, it takes the wise to catch this revelation. Even the young Isaac in Genesis 22 verse 7, he knew that you don't come to offer a sacrifice to the Lord without a lamb. Without a lamb. Hence he asks that yes, the altar has been prepared, Lord. My father, Abraham, the altar has been prepared. I see the wood, I see this, I see that. But where is the lamb? Where is the lamb? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If God himself offered the lamb, his own lamb, the lamb of God, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to the whole world as a sacrifice. How much more should we thankfully come to the Lord with sacrificial thanksgiving on a daily, regular basis? Today, many Christians are happy to come to the Lord empty-handed while they expect to leave His presence heavy loaded. I pray you are not one of them. Preferring to come to God empty handed and expecting to leave his presence heavy loaded. Thanksgiving involves a giving, even by its own very, you know, uh, name. Leviticus 19 27, uh, sorry, 24. In Leviticus chapter 19, verse 24. The Good News Translation puts it this way. In the fourth year, all the fruit shall be dedicated as an offering to show your gratitude. Another word for thanksgiving is gratitude. To show your gratitude to me, the Lord. To show your gratitude to me, the Lord. They were commanded to bring seeds, to bring fruits and dedicate them as offering. Offering unto God a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And God say, you are doing that to show what? To show your gratitude, your thankfulness to God. Hallelujah. So when you are truly grateful to someone who has shown you a favor, it is right not just to say thank you verbally or in writing alone. 
if you can as much as it lies in the grace that God has given you to do so accompany your thank you with a token it could be a thank you card it could be a small gift accompanying it such acts will go a long way to show that you are truly truly grateful no Christian ought to be cajoled about giving thanks to God and doing so with quality offerings and seeds. One of the reasons why some of us don't pay attention to this truth is because we don't care about gifts of thanks to human beings who have done us favor. It is even worse not to say thank you at all. It's worse. Be thankful always. Be thankful to God that you cannot see. Be thankful to God that you can see. Because it is the Lord that you cannot see that move the human beings that you can see to do you favor, to be gracious towards you. So they deserve your thanksgiving. And the almighty God in whose hands you know, at the heart of all men, deserve our thanksgiving at all times. I share his testimony with us before we pray. Someone did me a favor some time ago by helping me, oh sorry, someone did me a favor by helping my nephew to secure a job. And I wanted to pay this person a visit and say thank you to the person. So I had to go to an expensive pen shop to buy a pen to give this person. The person can afford to buy many of these pens, a pen at a time. But I also know that the pen carries some good value. It cost me a few, you know, pounds to buy. But I was glad to do so. I was happy. I wanted to go say thank you, but I never wanted to go empty-handed. So I did that. That is what I call thanksgiving. A sacrifice of thanksgiving, you may also call it. Now, I thought that I was just thanking this person for doing my nephew a favor, but actually I was sowing a seed for a much bigger harvest that I will be the direct beneficiary of not long after. Every giving is a seed that commands a harvest for good or for bad, depending on the seed that you have sown. And real thanksgiving is one of them. It commands a bountiful harvest, a great harvest. Hallelujah. You cannot give in life without receiving, just as you cannot sow without reaping. Amen. In Luke chapter 17 verse 19. Luke 17 verse 19. We have the story of the 10 lepers. Only one of them returned to give thanks. He returned to sow the seed of thanksgiving. Those who did not sow thanksgiving, they reaped nothing. On top of what they already had, they are healing. But the man that came back to sow thanksgiving, he reaped what? He reaped being made whole. The Bible says Jesus Christ told him, Go, your faith has made you whole. As we close, God desires that your thanksgiving to him. We also draw you closer to him. God wants friendship. He wants fellowship with you. No doubt, the thankful leper had also become a friend of Jesus by coming back to give thanks to Jesus. We are all lepers that only Jesus can make whole. And we can only be made whole when we come to Jesus, when we surrender our lives to him, when he becomes our Lord and Savior, and when we worship at his feet, serving him, obeying him, and living to please him and do exploit in his kingdom. Are you here today? You have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. I want you to be like the one leper that was here. But, but was not satisfied with just going away. He wanted to come back and say thank you to his healer. And say thank you to his healer. He wanted to have fellowship, friendship. Many go to seek for miracles. But they don't actually seek for the miracle worker. 
those ones are never made whole even when they receive the miracle. But I perceive that you are listening to me today. You want to be made whole. You are not just seeking after testimony. You are seeking after the giver of testimony. So as you are thanking God for testimonies that you have received, you are coming to him to have genuine fellowship, real encounter with him, to love him, to serve him, to walk in his ways, and to let him be your Lord, Master, and Savior. All the days of your life, as I want him to be all the days of my life too. I'd like you to pray this simple prayer with me if you want to give your life to Jesus and make him your Lord and your Savior. Say after me, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. Come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. And from now on, use me mightily for your glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, just test the word saved to the number that is on the screen. And we will call you and begin to guide you in the way of the light. Before I ask us to pray a couple of prayers, I want to give you a couple of action points on this message and the, the, the series and the parts of the message that you have had in previous Sundays. Action point number one, I'd like to I'd like you to list 10 things that you are thankful to God for. In this year alone, I know it's been a stormy year so far, a year of pandemic, a year of crisis and turbulence. But it's interesting to know that even in the midst of it, if we are wise, we must be able to find out reasons why we must be thankful to God. And that's very important for these times because that is when sacrifice of thanksgiving actually shows up. So go ahead, offer thanksgiving prayers to God on each of those 10 things that you are listing, that you are thanking God for in this year alone. Secondly, I'd like you to make a list of 10 people that have been a blessing to you or your family one way or the other, even this year, in this year 2020, and take steps to thank them. A phone call we do, an email we be fine, a text message to them we do, a note of saying just thank you. We go a long way. It's a seed, and I can assure you, it will surprise you how full your tank of peace of joy and of fulfillment will become when you begin to live a life of thanksgiving in this way. In Psalm 30 verse 11 to 12, Psalm 30 verse 11 to 12, as I invite you to pray with me right now. You have turned for me my money into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothe me with gladness to the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. Oh Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. We want to pray and say, Father, Father, you are the God of turnaround. I praise you and I give you thanks for the many turnarounds that I've enjoyed from you. Go ahead and give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. He says, you have turned for me my money into dancing. You have changed my season of money into season of dancing. You have changed the season that the enemy designed to be a season of money. You have changed it to a season of dancing for me. I give you thanks. I bless your name. I thank Thank you for the many turnarounds that I've enjoyed in my life. Thank you, Lord, for turnaround, turning around impossibilities to possibilities, turning around failure to success in my life, turning around sickness to good health in my life, turning around barrenness to fruitfulness in my life. I am grateful, I am grateful. Turning around, turning around, turning around depression to divine pleasure in my life. I give you praise. I thank you, the God of turnaround. Thank you for many, many turnarounds that I've enjoyed in life. Turn around, a turn around from a life in the wilderness into a life in the fruitful garden of my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. A turn around from darkness into the marvelous light of my dear Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you. I bless you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name, we pray. You want to pray and say, Father, show mercy. Show mercy. Show us mercy, O God. Be merciful to us, O 
God, enough of money, enough of weeping, enough of crime in every home this year. In the name of Jesus, turn money to dancing. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, you are the Father of mercy, the God of all grace. Show mercy, show mercy, show us your mercy, show us your everlasting kindness. Enough of money, oh God, enough of weeping, oh God, enough, 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 enough of sorrow, enough of crying in every home. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, oh God, for turning our money to dancing, for turning sorrow to joy in every home this year. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Father, Father, no one in my family will wear the garment of sorrow again. No one, no one, no one in my family will wear the sorrow, the garment of sorrow again. We cast away every garment of sorrow. Clothe everyone, oh God, with the garment of gladness. Clothe everyone with the garment of rejoicing. Clothe everyone with the garment of joy. Clothe everyone with the garment of praise. No one, no one in my family will wear the garment of sorrow. No more again. No more sorrow. No more, no more. Never again. Thank you, Father. Blessed, blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, the God of turnaround, who receives all thanks, all praises, and all glory, he will accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus Christ. And this month, every test we turn to testimonies for you and your family member. Every trial we turn to triumph in the name of Jesus Christ. We command that your glory we hear the word of the Lord. Your glory will not go into lockdown. Your star will not go into lockdown. Your destiny will not go into lockdown. They will leap up for joy in the name of Jesus. They will break through into singing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Please don't go. I will be back later to close this service. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Glory to God for that anointed word in season and message from our father in the Lord, Pastor Leke Sanusi. We have been tremendously blessed and we pray in the name of Jesus that the almighty God will bless you, sir, and keep you and family as the apple of his eyes in the name of Jesus. I pray that the almighty God will continually exalt your horn like the horn of the unicorn in the name of Jesus. I pray that more grace, multiplied grace, strength, it shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Almighty God, empower you more and more in the name of Jesus. I pray that the words, the declarations, the prayers that you have prayed this day in the name of Jesus, signs, wonders, and testimonies shall abound in the name of Jesus. I pray that your ministry we go from strength to strength in the name of Jesus. The Lord increase you, increase your ministry and your family in the name of Jesus. Above all, sir, I pray that you will make heaven, you will take many with you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time to give our offerings and to pay our fights. But before we do, I'd like to just read the word of God to us in the book, from the book of Mark. Mark chapter 4, verses 26 to 29. Mark 4, 26 to 29. I read. And he said, the kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day and the seed should sprout and grow. He himself does not know how, but the earth yields crops by itself. First the blade, then the head, after that the full grain in the head. The last verse, verse 29. But when the grain ripens, immediately he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As you sow your seed, 
offering this day and as you pay your tithe i pray that the almighty god will cause your seed sown to sprout to bud to germinate to grow in the name of jesus i pray that the earth indeed will yield its increase unto you and there shall be abundant harvest in the name of jesus hallelujah the different ways to give are displayed on the screen right now please choose the most convenient method of payment you know this day and the lord will bless you in jesus name shall we pray father we thank you for the opportunity to give our offerings this day and to pay our fights we pray in the name of jesus that for every fighter that you will rebuke the devourer for our sakes in the name of jesus devourer in the form of sickness in the form of losses in the form of stagnation father let it be rebuked in the name of jesus father we pray oh god even that for every seed sown we pray in jesus name like the like the like the farmer that sows the seed in faith we sow our seed and i pray that this seed in the name of jesus it shall yield bountiful harvest in the name of jesus the earth shall yield its increase unto your people in the name of jesus i pray oh god for financial breakthrough i pray for promotion career increase promotion i pray for lord god almighty business increase and expansions in the name of jesus father we thank you we give you praise we give you honor we give you adoration father we pray for as many that desires to give but that do not have at this moment i pray that you will make a way for them in the name of jesus above all i pray that you open your heavens oh god over everyone that is sowing seed over every family in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father thank you lord that the earth will continually yield its increase unto us there shall be bountiful harvest and testimonies in the mighty name of jesus thank you our dear lord in jesus name we pray beloved god loves a cheerful giver please give generously and cheerfully and you will testify in jesus name amen Good morning, everyone, and how are we all doing? I hope we're all keeping well and staying safe. It's great to have you back this week. Please take notes of some of the upcoming events taking place. If you are worshipping with us for the very first time today, we are so grateful that you chose to spend your time with us this morning. Please give us a wave emoji in the comment section so we can identify you and thank you for joining us. Our prayer quick session continues. It continues on our telephone prayer line, which are the early morning prayer works wonders, which holds every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. And every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 midnight to 1 a.m. Please invite all your loved ones. As a church, we meet every Wednesday at 7 p.m. for our Bible study, also known as Success School. Now, this is always a great insight into God's word. For the past few weeks, we have been studying on the topic, God of Miracles. I'm sure you will agree with me. It keeps on getting better each week. Please invite your family and your friends. And if you have any questions on any topic, please send it via email as displayed on the screen. 
Also on Friday at 7 p.m., this is our weekly prayer meeting, My Help Cometh. Please plan to join us and remember to invite someone. Now, both meetings for Wednesday and Friday will be live on our website, which is www.rccgvictoryhouse.com. So ladies, this is one for the diaries. So please save the date. RCCG Europe Mainland Region 2 is putting together a virtual women's conference on Saturday the 29th of August from 12 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. and the theme of the conference is Emerge. No more excuses, no more moaning, no more embarrassment, no more relenting. Yes to growth, yes to expansion. Wow, there is so much to learn at this conference. So let's come together and learn at the feet of Jesus. We have various speakers at the conference and it promises to be an experience. The conference will be shown live on our website, www.rccgvictoryhouse.com. Now, as announced by Pastor Leke Sanisi last week, we'll be resuming worshipping together at our church premises on the 6th of September 2020. Now, we have put in place measures to ensure the safety of our members. And there are a few things you will need to know before coming to church on the 6th of September. So please watch the following video. Everyone, welcome to Seat Reservation, Members Guide for Victory House. Now, you'll need to type in www rccgvhl.mmsapp.org into the browser and enter your email and password. Now, provincial, if you're not registered on our database, please text the word code 2079309493 one two to request a new code. Please, no calls, please. Now, enter your validate, validation code into the validation field to proceed to the sign up. And Proventure, if you don't have a password, please click on the reset button and enter your email to request a new password. And a new password will be sent to your inbox. And if not there, kindly check your spam mail. Now, sign into your personalized portal with your correct email and password to proceed into your portal area. Your portal area looks like this. You can easily click on the reserve your seat to proceed into the reservation section. You can easily see the reserve new seat and history. History keeps a log of what you sign up for, I mean, or for the bookings that you've made. And you can easily click on the service you'd like to attend. Now, the form fields look like this. You would easily click through the straightforward form fields. And please be careful when you get to the section that says, will you be attending with your spouse? So as not to avoid a duplication, please alert your spouse if you will be booking for them because for every yes you take on that spouse, it will be recording you as two. And please, it's necessary you let them know. Now, if you are vulnerable, are you 70 years or over? If you say yes, then you'll be redirected to watch the program online. You can easily check on the log history of what you have signed up for or event you've booked in your reservation portal. Now, if you need any help, please click on the feedback on the bottom of the page to send your messages to us. Thank you. Welcome back. Please, if you have not registered on our MMS app, please do so right away. And if you have any questions, please contact us on the details on the screen. Thank you. Have you given your life to Christ, but yet to be baptized by immersion? Join the new believers and baptismal class today. Class is held virtually every Saturday on Zoom. The slots are 11 a.m. to 12 noon, which is the junior class, 12.15 to 1.15 p.m., which is the intermediate class, and 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m., which is the adult class. Please call 079-843-69445 for more information on how to register. God's power is revealed and experienced in his word. Join us this Sunday from 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. for Sunday School as we continue our journey in learning more of the Word of God. And don't forget to get your Sunday School manual because they are ready. If you have any questions, please send them to sundayschool at rccgvictoryhouse.com. Now that's it from us here at VBN News. All our events and services will be on all our various online platforms at RCCG Victory House. 
So please make sure you're following us and subscribe to our channel. Please remain prayerful as we are trusting God to end this pandemic. And importantly, please keep safe. Thank you once again for joining us for service today. Do have a testimony filled week. Please stay tuned for Pastor Leke as we close the service. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You're welcome back. I believe strongly that you have been blessed uh, so far at today's service. And my prayer is that your blessing shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Please stay safe. Uh, let's be mindful of all the health and safety regulations and guidelines. And please let us observe them. Let us observe, observe them all. It is important to be very wise. The Bible says that we must walk as the wise, not as fools. Glory be to God. We are all wise men and women. And may the Almighty God keep us in the name of Jesus. And may the Lord continue to direct and order our steps. Evil shall not come near you. Oppression shall be far away from you and your family members in the mighty name of Jesus. By the mercy of God, this pandemic will expire. By the mercy of God, this plague shall be no more. The wild wind of the Lord shall blow it away completely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No one in your family, none of your loved ones, no one in your church, no one in your neighborhood will fall victim to this evil and wicked pandemic. The almighty God will crush the head of this dragon called COVID-19 in the name of Jesus Christ. The way it came is the way it will return and it will be destroyed even before it gets back to its destination in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The almighty God will protect and preserve all frontline workers all over the world. No evil will touch them. The Lord grant them divine immunity against infection and against any destructive infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the King of glory, upon whose shoulder the government shall be. He will direct our leaders. He will guide their decisions. He will give them the right counsel in the name of Jesus. Scientists and, 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 and experts all over the world receive help from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. May the almighty God give them the blessing and the wisdom and, and understanding from the anointing that was upon Bazalel of the house of Rai of the tribe of Judah. God will give the, the anointing for discovery, for invention in the name of Jesus Christ. The almighty God will comfort you all on every side. He will increase your greatness more and more. The Lord will make what is called wilderness in your life to become like Eden. Your desert shall become the garden of the Lord. I pray that in every department of your life, this week, throughout this month, for the rest of this year, joy and gladness will be found found in it in the name of Jesus thanksgiving and the voice of melody will never depart from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ may God bless you may God be gracious towards you may the almighty God make his face to shine upon you may he lift up his countenance unto you and may the Lord God of Israel give you peace round about you like a river in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. God bless you. We look forward to a wonderful and fruitful week. And I look forward to being with you and being part of the midweek services that God had prepared uh, for this new week. And God will do new things and give us bountiful harvest of our thanksgiving to him always in Jesus' name. I love you and I celebrate you and yours. God bless you. Thank you. Here we are giving you thanks for all you do as we pray and worship your holy. You are here dwelling within our prayer. Here we are, somebody say. Here we are.
Right now. 